How important were Air Jordans in Oakland? Very. Psh, come on. <laughs> Extremely. <clears throat> Extremely. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah. I, they're the, the reason I got a job. What do you mean? They're the reason I got a job. I wanted some Jordans, and my parents was like, "You can't, you know." Well, you got to get them, and I got a job, and I've had one ever since. <laughs> if you look at the impact of Air Jordans mm -hmm. in the Bay Area, what do you think was like the biggest Air Jordan ever? The one, just because of the splash that it made, because it was kind of like you separated yourself a little bit when you, you had those Jordans. Huh? You gonna, go like, you gonna really money, spend huh? that much okay. money on some tennis shoes? You know okay. what I mean? Yeah, I think that, that's the first time. It kind of changed. Shoes damn, it much. changed the landscape. Because you know? mm -hmm. I remember I had a close friend that I that I grew up with. He was like an older dude, you know what I mean? And then my neighbor was like a lot of dope dealers, you know? And they always had money to buy all the fly kicks, but my homie was just, he just did odd jobs and worked. You know what I mean? That was his thing. He just was always on his hustle trying to carry bags and molons and just do all that. You know what I mean? But he stayed kind of dipped. And he was like the first person I ever seen with, with the Jordans on. And people was kind of like clowning like, ah, oh, you got those, those are ugly. You know what I mean? But after a while, it just kind of caught on like wildfire. And it was like when you had those shoes on, it was like a status symbol, yeah. more than probably any other tennis shoe that I could even think of that came mm -hmm. before that. That first Jordan, like people that had them on, you kind of like separate the <coughs> real from the fake, like you know what I mean? My first pair of Jordans was hand me down some Tajay. Oh yeah? <laughs> I, I was never ever gonna have a pair of Jordans otherwise. Boy, boy. Yeah. You remember back then, I mean he's boy. much taller than me now. But we've been buddies since first grade. Yeah, he's the same and, and we was kinda like he was like a half inch or one inch taller than me, maybe maybe an inch and a half. So by the next year I could always fit his shoes and he took good care of them. So <laughs> yeah, he used now, to take care of your shoes, man. Yeah, yeah, I mean shit, hell yeah. I mean I used to take good care of my pro wings and shit. You know, <laughs> yeah. but um, my first pair of Jordans was his hand me downs and thank you by the way they they had me dip that next year you know what I'm saying <laughs> it wasn't old yet like how it wasn't quick burnout yet you could still rock them next year if they was good I remember having those and I lived in a, I lived my dad lived in Long Beach during the summer and if you don't know the C in LBC stands for crip don't get it twisted it's not city it's crip <laughs> okay. and man I had those it was the year those came out. And I was I got shot at that year. I was rocking those really? though. I, man, because I have the red 505s, you know, yeah. I had red, white, black Adidas, you know. I was like, it's summertime, I'm about to wear all this stuff in the school year. Then I got to my birthdays towards the end of the school year. So I would be not, you know, you get that first beginning of school shopping that don't be fitted the whole year until, until. <laughs> so I was like, I'm gonna rock this stuff, man. It was bad. I lived in a crip neighborhood. I'm talking about the neighborhood I lived in, if you wore Felis, blue Felis with the little red F, you know, they still would sweat you, you know what I'm saying, really? though? And I had to be, I, red. towards the end of the year, <laughs> summer, it was like, oh yeah, he from Oakland, he cool. Like, I went to Poly for summer school and everything. I mean, it was funny. I'm talking about, I live in a neighborhood where they lifting weights and got pit bulls. <laughs> the front in the next, yeah, front yard, front next yard. door, you know? Oh, Lee, stall little homie out, he from, he from Oakland.